harmony with those whom you disagree with and Allah will bless you. Live in harmony with those whom you disagree with. You may disagree with very strongly. No problem. But be respectful and never ever engage in anything that will disturb the peace and stability because the gift of Aman is actually very closely after the gift of Iman. First gift you have, we said it's Iman. After that, it's your Aman. It's your safety. It's your security. What is the beauty or what does a nation that has no security but all the wealth in the world, what do they have? I'd rather be in a nation that has a little bit less, but we are safe, we love each other, we look at each other. You could belong to different faiths altogether. Guess what? There is a mutual respect. That's what it is. I disagree, you disagree. Lakum deenukum waliyadeen. What a powerful verse. You have your faith and I have mine. Subhanallah. The same applies among the Muslims themselves. Be careful of those who want to instill hatred in your heart. To the degree that you have an urge to be violent or physical, that is detrimental to your very core and existence. Be careful of that. We stand on the pulpit on this Friday to remind you, my brothers, my sisters, the deen of Allah, it has a very powerful, beautiful presence that does not require you to be violent, hurtful or abusive. We are so confident of the truth that we have that we don't need to really worry about the falsehood. It stands no chance. Be confident of it. I have a beautiful internal peace because I know nothing can shake it. When the truth comes, what does it do to falsehood? Automatically, automatically, it obliterates it. People will know. You see, there was one of the mashayikh who was explaining to the young students that here there is a crooked line, for example, that someone has drawn, say, on, on the blackboard. They drew a crooked line. Now the people came and they were told, how do you tell the public that this is crooked? Or how do you straighten it? So each student came up with their own solution. I will do this, I'll rub it off, I will bend it, I will do this and that. And ultimately, the mentor taught them, look, when there is a crooked line in front of you, rather than wasting your time about declaring how crooked it is, draw a straight line next to it and keep it moving. Keep it moving. The whole world will pass by, say, that's a crooked line, this is a straight line. What more do you want? What more do you want? You were productive and constructive rather than destroy and create that which is negative. May Allah make it easy for us.